Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be delving more into why elf and not just a bunch of ifs. So let's just get started. So all right, uh, I have a lot of examples here already written and we'll just go into it. Now to remind you, the comment, anything for anybody who's younger, you might be calling this a hashtag, uh, anybody who's older like me it's a pound sign so alright but in Python to remind you this is commented out so if we run this with our cursor over here with our F5 absolutely nothing happens because it reads through here and it just sees a bunch of comments so alright let's just get started and just to remind you to uncomment something it is alt 4 and also if you can't remember that it is we pull up format and we come up here and we look at comment out region uncomment region and it's alt 3 and 4 so all right let's just get started so all right so if 5 is less than 6 print 1 so we're just going to go ahead and get started and come on down here so if 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 6 is greater than 5, print 2. So 1, 2. If 5 is greater than 1, as we continue down, you might say, why are we doing it like this? Because I want to... It took me a while. I couldn't find anybody to explain the difference between if and elif and really why, why you use it like why don't you just use a bunch of if statements if this is met just do this so well a good way to think about it is it's a constraint because if you have too large of a constraint you could get back false positives because you could have multiple conditions that meet if these so you might get more than one answer back that you're expecting and when we get further down the page you'll out. I got a good example that expresses this. So, all right, let's just keep going. So, all right, right now we have so we have one if that's met, two if that's met, three if that's met, and then right here, here's a false. If if five is less than four, so right now only the first three, and that's why I numbered them one, two, three. Only the first three conditions are met. So. So now here is our first elif that we see because the because above it it was not met and it didn't stop but this is here's an example so all right so then after this elif I put another if watch what happens it will come over here skip over this elif because the one before it didn't fail so this isn't this isn't I'm sorry that is that that failed so this elif but we have an if after this and ifs don't care if the condition before it failed it will test it so that that is the main step and the main reason why you only want to have one if because it will run down and even if the condition before it fails it will still run so we have our five right here and then our five and a half and then here's our after this we have it because the else does not run because this condition was met now all right to sell this a different way let's look at a great example so because let's and I just thought about this after I typed all this up so let's comment this region out so all right so let's come over here if here let's get a variable grade because we got it over on the other side so if grade 80 80 is a B right okay so if 
if grade greater than and the one you want to think about is it's how the condition is met and the constraint so if it's greater than 79 you could do this with a uh, uh, greater than or equal to but if, so you don't get all crazy if it's greater than 79 because you might round up so all right print B right you might say, yeah, that's pretty clean and clear. Well, let's look at this a different way. So if, but then what is a A? So we have if grade greater than Let's change this to a 90. So let's rerun this. So if we just used a bunch of ifs, here's an example. This is what I was trying to wrap my head around. So all right, if we just had a bunch of if statements and if conditions that run down, since this condition is met, you get a false, you get a list very similar to this where all these conditions would be met because it would it would be greater than a D it would be greater than a C it'd be greater than a B and then it'd be an A so what in this ex what would be a more accurate example is you would use something like this so let's just go through this this is where the if else so right now if it's greater than 89 and you want to start at the top and work your way down so if it's greater than 89 it's an A if it's greater than 79 it's a B if it's greater than 69 it's a C if it's greater than 59 it's a D else it's an F so let's run this C and we can change this and make sh and test and make sure that I've written this very specifically what is 72 those used to be my grades 72 is a C, and let's see how we did, 81, I might get an 81 every once in a while. So right now, so this is, and if we were to change these to a bunch of ifs, how would we do that? So we can show that you can get some false. So see, here's an example. So if, if you use just a bunch of if conditions, you could get false false positives because absolutely all of these are met but it's not exactly right so the first condition is not met but the second condition is and guess what lo and behold so is the so is the third and so is the fourth so this is a better way to copy paste paste let's check and see if I fixed it right bingo B so that is the difference that is that's why an elif is is utilized and it took me a while to wrap my head around why why an elif and why just not ifs because it is a smaller constraint and in programming you want to narrow your windows of possibilities and this is why elifs are useful and so important and so very powerful so Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this. Uh, please click the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.